Hey guys, Pom297 here with my Austria career mode race. We're now midway through the season. And we've only well, we've only got one win so far. And our qualifying pace has sucked. Pretty much. So um We're just uh, trying to focus to get a good Q3 run this time and I actually quite like Austria, so track and a fairly consistent round. Uh, so hopefully I can get a good result. As we had a fairly decent run apart from the first corner, as you saw, he went a bit wide, but coming across the line now, he said a one one oh nine point nine, which isn't isn't too bad, but I can improve on it, obviously. So I return to garage and go out for another run afterwards. What you did, what you do? Well, we were third initially, but it's like we're going to spawn us some traffic here for the second Q Q three one. It's also spitting with rain as well, but that shouldn't affect it too much as the track itself isn't that wet. So, round in the final corner. It looks like we are close to a car's ahead. What, what is this? Yeah, um, we've got about five wide. We go we, we back off the power and go round the outside of them. What were they doing? <laughs> um, AI obviously fighting for space on the quality runs, but just don't need to turn the pit straight into a car park. That's a bit weird. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, I spoiled our um, quality run, and we had to uh, uh, quit in the end as we lost too much time by backing out the first corner. So we kept our uh, quality position of P3, so behind the two Mercedes, which is pretty good. Uh, Vettel was in fourth alongside us. As we're going to go through our setup now, it's a fairly ordinary setup. 3 2, it's a bit less aero than it was in Canada before, as it is going to be a dry race. And the strategy is for the AI a free stop, but I think that the tie wave isn't actually that bad around here. So I'm going to stretch it to a two stop. I reckon that could work and it might give me a win, so who knows. Actually we put up the aerial to 4 2, which I your mind, just for the race. So let's go to track now and hope I can have a good, good result and hopefully can win this race. So wish you luck guys. It's the two Mercedes and the two Red Bulls. Hopefully we can make, mount a challenge in this race. And beat the Mercedes in the Driver Championship and the Constructor Championship. So where we go now, we've got a better start than Rosberg on the right. who has got completely bogged down off the line. So we're already put to P2. Hopefully we can go around the outside of Hamilton, which we do. We could on him a little bit. There was a slight bit of contact. But it didn't really cost him much time. As, well, AI went slow for the first corner. And we are up into the lead, which is awesome. We put it onto Rich Revs on the back straight. And we already pulled a 1.2 second gap out to Hamilton behind, which is excellent. So hopefully we can keep this advantage behind ahead of him. As you know looks like Vettel maintained his fourth position as it looks like in the minimap. So it could still be in the hunt. As I'll show the uh, whole of the full lap, uh full first lap as um just get, just get a, uh, an image of the track, pretty much. It is a nice track. I, I do enjoy it quite a bit. It's, I'm not the quickest, but I am pretty consistent around it. Except for the final corner, which is annoying. And the final sector, actually. But we gained three tenths in the middle sector, so that's pretty good. Hopefully we can maintain that advantage. We do back off slightly in the final sector. We didn't get the best of runs. So AI probably gained a little bit through there. So, yeah, they gained a tenth, but unfortunately by lap four, they have actually gained quite a bit of time as we completely screw up the final corner. And that's put Hamilton right on the back of it, so trying to make a move up the inside. We've got Rosberg right behind us as well. He's got the position, but we're going to dive back up the inside in the first corner. And we make it stick, just about. But the two Mercedes and Vettel as well, who sets the last lap of the race. They're all right there. So, train of four cars. Uh, the lead of the race, as we've got a huge gap to 5th place. We dive up the inside and keep the position. But there's going to be a second DRS zone coming up here, so hopefully we can keep ahead. Don't know, but we, we did actually. Uh, by lap 7 we've got Rosberg, it said, going around the outside of turn 1, but he doesn't break late enough, and we keep position going up the inside. 
Uh, by lap 9, the tyres are pretty much gone. We're going up to the pits. Hamilton's already gone to the pits. Um, like a lap earlier, so he's got the undercuts. Rosberg came in the same time as me, but we do emerge in the pits out ahead of Rosberg, which is good. As an hour into the prime tyres, I think the two Mercedes, or at least one of them, probably would be on the option, so it's going to be difficult to defend again this stint. But thanks to the mis thanks to the AIs not being very good seeing their overtakes, we should still keep the lead in this race. And by lap 15, we've got Rosberg once again trying to cut, make a move past us, but he can't seem to stick it. Yeah, he's on the option tyres, so he's going to have an enormous pace advantage. And all through the stint, all through that stint, pretty much, he was trying to make many moves past us, but just couldn't get us get past. By lap 23, the Mercedes already make the second pit stop, so we're now coming in for our second one. So they are going to jump us in these pit stops, but while they have to make yet another one, I don't. So I will have track position in the third state, third stint, which is awesome. So hopefully I can make the use of those soft tyres and keep bridge a gap uh, when the AIs make their third. Stint. We come to the track now. We think we emerge just ahead of our teammate Vettel. No yeah, and we do. Stops. Just, uh, just inside. about ahead of him. Yep, is right there. But he doesn't manage to get ahead of us, which is good. But Vettel, like the two, to the like, like the two Mercedes, has to pit again. So now the, the job is to keep ahead of the two Mercedes. As after they make their second pit stops, and by lap 32, Rosberg has now caught right up to the back of us. He's been flying this race, and unfortunately, if I did a free stop for he just wouldn't be able to match his pace. Especially as now on the option tyres, they're going to be really hard to keep him behind as he's tried to make a move into the uh, quite fast right hander, but obviously the AI backed out of the move like they always do. Lap 34, just trying to make another, another move on us now as they're entering a Field of backmarkers, Maldonado and Chilton. Maldonado completely blocks us and blocks Rosberg. Uh, so Maldonado being up to his usual self and basically using his car, well, not brightly. Um, it's not surprising because they're the back racing with Chilton as well. That 36, the final lap of the race, Rosberg's trying to make it it's another move on us as we break later them into the first corner. It's a real struggle now keeping them behind. Hamilton's caught right to the back of us as well. And Vettel's only about 5-10 seconds away. So we're really struggling on these um, harder tyres. So two slots actually has got his track position, but it's costing us a lot of time during, towards the end of the stint. As we're going to ride on board with the rest of the final lap. Rosberg's still right there in the DRS. Will he be able to make the move? He's trying to go for the outside. We blocked the inside, and he doesn't manage to get the move. Got some more bat markers ahead, so hopefully they don't hold us up. As Rosberg's still right there, as we had a terrible exit from the corner. Gonna have to defend nicely and not make any mistakes in the final lap. That'd be terrible if we did let him pass. This is only two tenths a second behind us. Hamilton's only one and a half seconds behind us, so it's all closed up now. We had a terrible exit from that corner again. Rosberg might have a look. No, he won't. He backs out the move. Uh, looks like we will actually win this race. And we take the final corner nicely. And we will come through to claim our second win of the season. Uh, Red Bull's home race. With a fantastic win. Parked the, bus, parked the bus very well during that race. And it was very close with the two Mercedes beh right behind us. But we do manage to get the win. And we get the championship lead. Um, unfortunately my Elgato cut out when showing the, uh, the um, championship table and the race highlights. So sorry about that, but I can confirm we are leading the championship now. But anyway, on to the race results. I'm, I finished in first, Rosberg second, Hamilton third, Vettel fourth, Hockerberg fifth, Magnussen sixth, seventh Button, eighth Raikkonen, ninth Alonso, tenth Bottas. So Vettel's good, did a good result as well, so if we might be leading the Constructors' Championship, I'm not sure. But I will confirm that to you guys next video, which will be around Spa. So I'll see you guys then. Hopefully I can get another good result in that race. So see you guys then. Palms out.